Hi everybody, God bless you. Thank you for watching the video. The Bible reveals to us that the government of this world will rest upon the shoulders of Christ. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall rest upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. And upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to establish it with judgment and with justice, From henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. We read that in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. Also, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise up unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called, the Lord of Righteousness. We read that in Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 5 and 6. Also in his days, in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall be not left to other people but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and shall be forever also the Bible says that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on top of the mountains and should be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it and many nations will come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for the Lord shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem and he shall judge among the people and rebuke strong nations. We read that in the book of Micaiah, chapter 4, verse 1, 2, and 3. Also, Isaiah chapter 6 The arise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall rise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you and the Gentiles shall come to your light we read that in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 to 3 the Lord himself the Lord himself shall sit upon the throne of David and establish his kingdom and it will be a kingdom of justice a kingdom of righteousness and peace. The Bible says in the book of Daniel that God will break in pieces all these other kingdoms. He will establish his kingdom to rule over this earth for a thousand years. I do believe the Lord Jesus Christ is returning in our generation. And then he will establish his house at the Temple Mount. The mountain of the Lord's house will be established and all nations will flow unto it. All people will flow unto it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This will take place in our generation.
You know, Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 24, he talked of the fig tree blossoming. And the fig tree represents the nation and people and children of Israel. And he said, when you see the fig tree blossom, you know that summer is near. Even so, the kingdom of God is at hand. And God has brought the children of Israel back to Jerusalem for his return. He has brought them back into Zion. But we know we will go through the great tribulation. And we know that Israel will go through the time of Jacob's trouble. More and more and more, God has given people a passion for prophecy. The Holy Spirit is opening up prophetic scripture to people. We are seeing the word of God being fulfilled in our generation. Israel became the state of Israel in 948. But also, during the Great Tribulation, they as a people, as a nation, will be redeemed and spiritually restored and brought into the destiny. And their destiny is to be the capital city of the kingdom of God on this earth. And that'll be a glorious time. That'll be a glorious time on this earth. But even though the church of Jesus Christ, and even though Israel will rule in the kingdom of God, we still will have Gentile nations that will not be under the authority of God. They still have a choice. God does not enforce his kingdom upon them. They have a choice. And there are many millions of people that will not submit to the authority and rule of the kingdom of God. But they have a choice. There will be rejoicing all across the earth as Jesus Christ returns. Of course, he has to come and bring war. The Bible says in righteousness, he does judge and make war. And he sends forth his holy angels. He comes in his glory on the clouds of heaven and he sends forth his holy angels. And we have the war of Armageddon. After that time, then the Lord will bring peace to the earth and the nations will know war no more. It will be a time of great rejoicing. Time of great rejoicing all across the earth. And Jesus Christ will be honoured and he'll be worshipped at Jerusalem. He will sit upon his throne at Jerusalem, upon the throne of David. And he comes to bring justice. He comes to bring righteousness. But in order to establish that kingdom, the Lord will go forth to fight against those nations that fight against Jerusalem because Jerusalem will be attacked. The city of Jerusalem will be attacked. And the Lord will come forth from his throne to deliver and protect them. And then the Lord will establish his kingdom. God has spoken unto us the end from the beginning, from ancient times, through the prophets. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 that God it sundry times in different manners has spoken to our fathers by the prophets. But has in these last days spoken unto his son, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that we would do well to take heed unto the words of the prophets, as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. The day will dawn. The day will dawn. These things are revealed by the Spirit of God. He has revealed the future. He has revealed the Great Tribulation. He has revealed what will take place during the reign of the man of sin, the Antichrist, the man-beast. He has revealed what will happen unto us during that time. And I do believe that God will protect his people during the Great Tribulation. I don't believe that any of these plagues that come forth from the angels of God will strike the people of God. I believe that the hand of God will be upon them. Just like the Israelites in Egypt. There was darkness in the land of Egypt, yet the children of Israel had the brightness of the light of the sun upon them. And none of the plagues of Egypt came upon the children of Israel. So therefore the people of God during the great tribulation period, they will have divine protection from the hand of God himself. And none of his plagues that the angels bring upon the earth will come upon the people of God. They will come upon those who have received the mark of the beast in the right hand of the forehead. And these plagues are reserved for them. People say God does not appoint us to wrath. So we will not go through the great tribulation. Now we are saved from the wrath of God. We are saved from the wrath of Almighty God. Through Calvary. Through the death 
of Jesus Christ. Through his atonement we are redeemed by his precious blood. So we are delivered from wrath to come. Delivered. But I believe that we will be protected by God during the Great Tribulation period. We're about to enter the door of the Great Tribulation. It's upon us. We are the generation that will see Jesus Christ return with the armies of heaven, with all the holy angels. We are that generation. I was sharing in my last video about the Antichrist and the Third Hebrew Temple. I sincerely believe that that will take place, otherwise I wouldn't teach that. I understand that people think that these prophecies happened during the time of the early church in regard to the abomination of desolation. I understand that. But I truly believe that there will be a third temple in our generation. I truly believe the book of Revelation in chapter 11 reveals that as the angel is given the command to measure the temple and them that worship therein, revealing that there will be a temple at Jerusalem. I really believe that. And I believe this will happen over the next few years, that we will see the foundation of the temple and we will see uh, the Jewish temple at Jerusalem. We're in the last days. We're in the last years. Jesus said, when the fig tree blossoms, you know what he said? In regard to Israel, he said, when you see it blossom, you know summer is near. Even so, the kingdom of God is at hand. And he said, this generation will not pass away until all of these things are fulfilled. This generation will see the kingdom of God be established upon this earth. And this has always been the eternal plan of God. To have his kingdom reign upon the earth. And he has revealed us through the words of the prophets. We must remember that Jesus Christ was also a prophet. That was one of his offices. He was an apostle, prophet, evangelist. He was a pastor, teacher. But Jesus was a prophet, mighty in word and deed. And he prophesied of his return. He prophesied of the great tribulation. He prophesied that he would come on the clouds of heaven. And the angels would be sent forth to gather the elect. He revealed all these things unto us. So let's continue to study Bible prophecy and let's continue to seek the Lord. Let's continue to draw near to him with all of our hearts and he will give us peace. The Holy Spirit will strengthen us for the days and years ahead. It's time for us as the people of God to prophesy. It's time for us to declare the prophetic word of God to this generation. Jesus said, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end shall come. We are seeing the fulfillment of prophecy in our generation. And the most important prophecy is the fig tree that blossoms, the nation of Israel. He's brought the children of Israel back to Zion for his return, and he is coming. He is coming. And the sun will be darkened, and the moon will be turned blood red before that great and notable day that the Lord come. God bless you and thank you for watching the video. Seek the Lord and call upon him. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.